this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to share some ammo news and stuff with you. Now, right now, um, we're seeing some um we're seeing a little comeback of ammunition around the country and stuff like that. Uh, some still um, hit pretty hard and stuff. But right now, I want to talk about ammo manufacturers. Now, we've been talking about doing the shortage of ammo factory. spent a lot of money ramping up, building, you know, making more ammunition and stuff like that, moving around and stuff. So right here, Sig Sawyer is expanding ammunition making capacity at his Jacksonville plant, investing millions of dollars and adding jobs as nation year-long ammo shortage drags on. Now, Sig Sawyer recently shipped Shift its shipping and receiving the storage operation to 50,000 square foot nearby office space to make room for more production at its plant. The off site operation employs 15 workers. Now, the moves freeze up about 20,000 square feet of vital manufacturing space to increase production of its pistol ammo significantly. The ammo maker is also gearing up to add primers and making facility at its plant to make its operation, which produce bullets, brass, finished ammo, even more self-contained. Now, ammunition of all types has been non-existent of scarce on retailer shelves for over a year, driven by the record number of new shooters, industry experts, and analysis say. Now, New Hampshire-based Six Sorry, which makes firearm ammunition and accessories, centralized its ammunition production at the new plant. In Jacksonville, 2017, the plant makes small arm ammunition for civilians, law enforcement, military uh, markets worldwide. Now, the company also builds night sites for its farms at the plant, which sits on more than 60 acres. And, you know, it just goes on, you know, on and on about um, their expanding this plant and stuff like that. Um, I've been telling you that you have eminent, uh, manufacturers and stuff that is pretty much expanding people uh, trying to produce more ammunition. But, you know, like I said before, um, one evidence that I was saying, if you did one background check, that person could have bought three or four firearms. So they need to buy a lot of ammunition for each farm that they bought or, you know, rifle, whatever the case may be. But, you know, this is something that is going on. And, you know, it looks like that manufacturers are trying to keep pumping more ammunition and stuff out now like i said before people are still buying and stuff like that uh, i'm still seeing you know backlog of ammo and a lot of manufacturers and so so they're gonna try to expand to keep up with the orders and stuff like that so i kind of want to put this on your radar people um there's so much information when it comes to this but you know sig saw your people um they're expanding they're trying to produce more ammunition and stuff um, Y'all know that Sig Sawyer produced ammunition and stuff like that. But like I said, this is one more to the long list of things I've been talking about that your know, ammo manufacturers has, is trying to keep up with demand. So just want to put that on the radar, people. This is DC Channel Guns, and i catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.